Hello, it's Mark, and today we're doing an iMac SSD upgrade. It's a 2.5 inch size, and also uh, copying their data over and all that. Anyways, please like and subscribe, enjoy the video, and uh, what I recommend, the first thing you do is heat up the screen. If it's too hot to touch, then it's hot enough. And then I use this little plastic uh, pizza cutter to get the uh, screen off, and I'll link the tool in the description below. Anyways, enjoy the video, and I'll try to keep an updated guide on exactly what I'm doing in this repair. After you use that plastic uh, pizza cutter around all the edges of the screen, it's time to pry it up. And you want to pry it up gently from the very top, and then uh, make sure you don't pull too hard, because there's cables connected to the screen. And I'll show you how to disconnect that here in just a little bit. So first, I just kind of pry on the very top here, and then break any adhesive, kind of get down, look down there, and look and see if uh, I can... Um, all right, anyways, here we are inside the screen. Um, I don't really have a good camera view of the connection. It's kind of dark in there. I didn't get a good close-up, but it is right here on the top. And then you just uh, unclip these two connections and then you can get the screen up and I'll continue to show you how to fully take out the screen here in just a second. For some reason I unplugged it but I'm pretty positive I had it turned off and unplugged. Anyways there's these adhesives you can actually grab them with your hand and just pull them out like that. Just pull them out and then you'll have to use a metal tool there to break the adhesive loose right there on the bottom. And there you go got the screen up put it somewhere safe so you don't actually drop it and break it. Anyways, get out a T8 screwdriver and unscrew the four screws holding down the hard drive. And then I uh, always try to do it and try to get the hard drive in without moving the loudspeaker or the uh, the speaker at all. And um, it just didn't work out and I had to uh, take out the loudspeaker halfway. And then also the little, um, I think it's like some type of antenna on the bottom there. Uh, gotta unscrew that with a PH000 screwdriver all the way around the top but i'll just have you guys watch the video from here and you can kind of see how i work my way around the computer and getting the ssd out and putting the ssd back in and um yeah so sometimes you get lucky and you get it in that first time but sometimes you just got to do the more work anyways it's not so bad but um there is a, it's just a couple extra steps Alright, so you're going to want to remove these uh, PH000 screws from the bottom here. I think there's like six. I don't know exactly. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, with the loudspeaker 2, it's a T8 screwdriver. I didn't say anything about that. Anyways, um, so you want to get the loudspeaker out just enough so you can reach in there and connect the SATA cable to the SSD here. And I uh, have to try a couple times to get it to actually connect here. And then um, I also wanted to talk about the Blade SSD. So this model didn't have the Blade SSD. So we didn't do like a fusion drive or anything like that. Or a dual boot or something special I've done before for someone on an iMac. And, and anyway, so there's this little cable here. And this is your power button cable. You want to be very gentle with it because you could accidentally break it and uh, cause it to come out. I put it partially together, um, so I put down the loudspeaker and the power button connection and kind of line that all up, and then I put the little uh, bar back in, just kind of some of the major things, and then before I fully screw down the SSD, I want to test it, I actually do the whole migrate everything with the iMac upside down in my view, view. I'm very used to it. And anyways, also you want to make sure you clean up your adhesive around the edges of the screen for the new adhesive you're going to put down. It's really important because the screen, if it falls off, it can fall off on your customer and just shatter on the floor right in front of them and it's not, will not make you look good in any way. The tool I use to clean the edges is just a flat-headed um, chisel blade, and I 
use them all the time to clean adhesive off of iMacs, off of iPads, off of anything I use. Um, you definitely should have this tool laying around if you're trying to do this type of repair. Alright, or get one ordered as soon as possible. All right, we got the SSD in. We're gonna grab our bootable flash drive, plug that in, get it kind of prepped. We'll get our keyboard and mouse here in a second too. And um, we'll get the screen put back on here. We're not gonna put adhesive down in case we run into any problems or something's wrong with the SSD or there's a little, something's just not working, the loudspeaker's not working, anything um, that could happen. And anyways, um, so I plug it in, boot it up, got my keyboard here and um, I hold down the option key while it boots up to get onto my bootable flash drive. I have my home login and everything to it. I have it all set up perfectly and so that I can just install any OS for any Mac and um, I'll make another video of how I set that up so then you guys can use it as well. Anyways, I gotta wipe the drive because it's formatted to Windows when we first put it in. And I format it to APFS and then I put uh, Big Sur at the time. That was the highest OS available, but um, now there are a lot higher from that. It's, uh, anyways, um, uh, we'll just have you continue watching the video. I had some issues um, that happened with the that their old hard drive wasn't detecting. I tried a drive bay and then a second drive bay and there is uh, I finally just rebooted the computer with a new drive bay connected and then it synced up and then I did the migrate but I tried a bunch of different things trying to make sure it worked and everything. I wanted to make sure I could get their data transferred back onto the Mac so they could have a lot faster Mac with all their stuff on it and not have to reinstall everything or lose family photos or something like that. But anyways, um, there is keep watching the video and I will show you how to put the adhesive down and everything. Worth it. We got the uh, at, uh, their data transferred. Migration has been complete. Tested it out. Turn off the computer. Unplug it, and then take out the screen again. We we'll get these two connections here, and then we'll lay down the adhesive, and also make sure everything's screwed down, and we're all set. And then we will uh, put the adhesive down. I'm gonna blow it out a little bit here. It's kind of dusty. And then I can put my take my T8 screwdriver out and screw down the four screws for the hard drive to secure it in there. And then uh, we will go on with getting the adhesive down. I use uh, my you can use a pointed end as a sponger or a um, tool like a screwdriver for the uh, adhesive as a special kind of uh, pre-cut adhesive. I would recommend always using. Uh, don't use uh, your aftermarket. Uh, adhesive it might uh, cause the screen to fall off. Anyways, it has happened to me and it could happen to you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm pretty much just going to let the video play through here 
and you guys like and subscribe leave me a comment below i haven't been posting very many videos lately i've been very busy at work i fixed like 24 macbooks in a week and it's just been really busy 